What's going on guys? Welcome back to this tutorial. Today we're going to be mainly focused on uh, our story levels um, and adjusting those so that when we place items into or objects into our 3D model they end up in the correct place. Um, and uh, that way the rest of our drawings like elevations and sections kind of um, they get auto generated properly and you kind of have to you know worry about minimal just minimal editing and adding in notations, annotations and stuff like that. Um, but I did want to quickly mention one thing regarding the drawings. So previously uh, in the layout book, we were looking at the schematic design sheets. Um, we actually, um, we noticed that uh, these floor plans here, if I double tap that one, um, they were missing dimensions and uh, window and door markers and the uh, dimensions that go along with those and so I was realizing after looking through it a little bit more that the actual um, documentation that we would use for construction is is in the second folder here so we head down to here we've got another cover sheet um, and uh, we've got our floor plans with the um, with the dimensions already uh, generated there for us right over here like so so this is a this is the A1 sheet or here they're calling it A-109 um, first floor plan and then we can see the mark the dimension markers are all there the window and door markers are also there and so this is this is what we would want for a construction document right we want to make sure those dimensions are in there for the framers and construction workers anyway um, let's head let's head back to our first floor drawing here and then let's talk a little bit about stories so we're also going to head over to the project map by clicking over here and then we are going to come over here to our stories and um, let's go ahead and right click there and then go into our story settings so um, I'll mention really quickly um, so what we're going to do here in a second we don't have a third floor so we're actually going to delete that so let's delete that story and then we also don't have a second floor for the purposes of this tutorial so let's go ahead and also delete that um, so now I've got a roof and a first floor um, and I'm just gonna hit OK for now um, so let's delete that anyway okay um, so now we've got two stories okay now um, <clears throat> why are the stories important um, so here is the reason they're important so we're gonna head over to our view map and again these are just our drawings that are placed into our sheets I just want to reiterate that so that it's clear to everyone um, what those are especially if you're a beginner um, but anyway here um, we've got this marker showing up that says plus or minus zero inches first floor um, so that I can actually close this by bringing it in over here by just clicking on this edge and kind of adjust the view that you're getting um, and then there so it's only showing the first floor marker but usually it'll show not only your first floor marker but your uh, second floor mark uh, story level and also your roof uh, story level um, and usually those those will show up in our sections um, more often than, than not so it's kind of strange it's not showing up here um, yet uh, so let's let's go ahead and um, first let's let's correct what's going on here. So what are some things that that are wrong with this picture? Well, it says the first floor is at plus or minus zero inches. Um, so like I said, usually this first story level I like to leave as grade um, if the terrain is uh, mostly flat. Um, so then that plus or minus zero is pretty pretty accurate I guess um, and uh, yeah so let's let's go ahead and correct that so we're gonna go back to our project map and um, head over to first floor right click story settings and then we're gonna make the first floor we're actually gonna call that natural grade but let's go ahead and click insert above real quick and so this will be our actual first floor um, so I'll just put a placeholder there and then over here we're just going to type natural grade NG and then the first floor will be the next story so let's type first floor there <clears throat> now um, the natural grade is at zero 
And our first floor is actually starting from uh, from uh, one foot six inches above the ground, right? That's how we defined it. So I'm going to type in one foot six inches there. And then, so the first floor should start at exactly one foot six inches. And then the height to next is essentially um, how much from from this point on, how much do you want to, um, how much space do you want there to be vertically until you get to the next, uh, until you get to the next uh, story level. So here we'll have an eight foot ceiling. That's pretty standard. Usually, um, it's like the most common uh, ceiling height, at least in my experience. Um, so then we'll leave that as is. And then the other thing here is, um, so the reason it wasn't sh that roof wasn't showing up on our elevation was, was because this was unchecked. Um, I believe that's the case. So let's go ahead and check that and then see if it shows up. So both of those should now show up in our elevations and sections. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Then let's go and head over to section A. And there we have it. We can see that we've got the first floor. Uh, or sorry, we've got the natural grade at zero, first floor after that. And then we've got the, um, <coughs> the roof. So now, what's wrong with this picture? The roof is not not where it should be. Well, uh, yeah, let's. I'll leave that there for now. What I meant by uh, putting this was actually the ceiling ceiling height, and then then after you put the ceiling height, um, I usually have a marker that goes to the um, to the top of the the ceiling joist, and then I'll, I call that story attic, and then I have one that goes to the roof apex, um, and I'll. Uh, define those in a second. We don't really know where our apex is going to be, but let's go back to our project map and then let's go back to story settings. And this is how I like to use it. You don't have to use it this way. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty common practice. Uh, and I think it makes some, some things a little bit nicer. So let's go to first floor, then we'll put ceiling. So ceiling, you can just call it the ceiling height or ceiling I'll just put ceiling and then um, so that is so for now our ceiling joists are, are seven inches with the ceiling um, so I'll just put the height to next is seven inches and then we'll insert another story above and call that attic um, and then the height to next I don't know it's gonna be four uh, or five feet maybe let's say let's just put five feet for now um, and then at, uh, after five feet, um, we'll be at our roof apex. So this is kind of how I like to use it. If you, um, if you, if you have some experience and use it a different way, uh, let me know in the comments, but this is kind of, uh, what I like to do. Um, we have some issues here with the text, but we'll, we'll fix that a little later. Um, for now, let's leave it as is. Now, the reason um, these are kind of nice is because uh, if I go into that view, so let's go into building section A, I believe. So let's head over to our view map and then building section A. If you right click on your view section and you go down to view settings, um, you can do a couple. Oh, well, actually, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry about that. Let's go to uh, right click and then Go to section settings, not view settings, section settings. Uh, after you right click, um, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go down to, so here you can edit things like color, like you can put color in your model or remove the color um, and so forth. Um, we'll focus on that a little later, but for now we want to look at the story markers. So that's the, oh, there we go, story levels over here. That option down here. And then we want to display an output. So if you hit none, um, basically what this means is they won't show up on your, uh, they won't show up here and they also won't show up when you, uh, put them on a page, right? When you place them on a layout, if you hit display only, it will actually show it here. So I'm just going to hit okay. It'll show it here, but it won't actually, uh, print out or, um, or I, I think it shouldn't, um, display either in your, um, in your uh, layout. So you can see this one, section A is missing those markers, but section B does have them. But um, 
yeah, it'll display it in the drawing. So back over here in your view map, it'll display them here, but it won't show them when you go to print. So let's head back to section settings. And then um, I, uh, I think it's a good practice to actually output it and show it on the uh, layout um, and on the drawings. Um, and then the other thing we wanted to do was the story level lines. So um, I like to have like a dashed, just like a, a normal dashed line and then use uh, like a gray color uh, so that it goes there and then yeah okay so then I think that's it let me just double check that everything's there uh, <laughs> here there's a couple there's a couple other things you can do but for now let's just ignore that and let's put that in like so um, now what's strange is the line is not actually continuing the way um, it's supposed to so that's strange let me go back to the layout see if that's showing there so it's not actually showing here either it's hidden but um, <clears throat> Uh, maybe I'll figure it out in a different video and then show you guys. But for now, that's that's it. Um, so then, once once you place in your your roof and so forth, it'll you'll kind of see how this comes together. But let's head over back to our section, and then we're gonna adjust the walls and the uh, the ceiling structure down till I get to um, down till I get to the ceiling level. So that's right there. So once I'm there, um, I can just bring down these walls. So I'm just going to select all the walls by holding shift. And then I want to make sure I get this one over here. And then I'm just going to click this node over here and then select in the command palette uh, the stretch height option. And then just slowly move it down. And for now, I'll just I'll take it to the top of the attic. Um, and then I can see this wall is popping out. So I'll also do the same thing. Just move it down to the attic and it's kind of nice that it just kind of snaps into place there okay so um that's it for now in the next video i'll go over how to place a roof and then we'll adjust our story levels um uh then all right so i hope you guys found this helpful um or you know at least when it comes to understanding story levels and what they could potentially be useful in your drawings um so i'll see you guys in the next video